Next, I have the Dead Space comics. Salvage and Liberation. These are these are from out of state, actually. This is from Virginia. Right there. And this one comes all the way from North Kakalaki. Pembroke. And I forgot to mention. <laughs> my dumbass. Batman and Darkest Night came all the way from Garden City, Idaho. Pretty cool. So... <clears throat> Dead Space Salvage and Liberation. Bitch and Art Throughout. Of course, that's cut off because of the sticker. <laughs> but yeah, these are crisp and clean. This is soft cover. This is hard cover. Here's the back of that. Bitch and fucking art. So in Salvage, uh, it follows the magpies who encounter the Ishimura. And man, this is some wild shit. If you enjoyed Ben Templesmith's work on the first comic, you're going to be very impressed by the work in both of these as well. And these come out in 2013. And I love the art for this, like, shit. There's no uh, text bubbles or brackets. It's just text and the art the way a comic should be, in my opinion. And I love this. This is just so beautiful. Beautiful, violent, <laughs> absolutely stunning. And if you were curious, hold on, let me find the page. It's got color. Uh, uh. Let's see. Now, yeah, fuck it, this will work. <laughs> so we got red. Come on, work. Oh. Red, <laughs> green, ain't that cool? That looks good as hell on green. Got blue, orange, blue. Yeah, each shade of this looks good as fuck, depending on what you do with it, but yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. Different colors pop under different lightings with the strip, and I love that a lot. But this is just absolutely batshit wild. And of course, if you're familiar with Dead Space, you know what happens in Dead Space. Everybody fucking dies. It's basically Vegas with murder. <laughs> what happens in Dead Space stays in Dead Space. And there are galleries, which is really nice. Yeah. I was very disappointed that um, In Darkest Night didn't have a gallery, but you know, that's to be expected. But, uh, but the designs on these necromorphs, absolutely wild. Just ships. All that jazz. But yeah, these are really crisp and clean. And plus... There we go. You have your introduction to characters as well. So you know who's who. Which is awesome. So there's Salvage finished. And Liberation. This follows Carver. Yeah, from Dead Space 3. I don't know why that's even in there. So... And then this is where Carver meets uh, up with Ellie Langford. He loses his wife and child. Yeah. And it's just one badass shit show. <laughs> and I mean shit show as in like so much destruction and shit. And so much good fast-paced action that it keeps you enthralled. But yeah, if you don't like Dead Space, you're not going to like these at all. No. Yeah. I like how it's look. His tattoo is so good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And then this directly ties into Dead Space 3. Which is really nice because this has Danik as well. 
I hope they remake two and three, because fuck, that would be beautiful. That's your gallery. Gallery for this. Yeah. This was a brutal fucking origin story for Carver. I didn't know anything about him at all. Which means I gotta go back and rewatch Dead Space 3 again, but the co op of it, so I know what him and Isaac talked about. That's probably one of my favorite spreads, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so, that's Dead Space. And it's from Titan Books, which surprised me, because usually, um, yeah, I was surprised by that. Because usually, you have, you know, either IDW, Dark Horse, Image, whatever. And the reading order for the comics is... The first Dead Space, then Salvage, then Liberation. And then you have the books that go in between all that, too, and the games. So. Yeah, but if you don't care for this shit, oh, well, that's cool, too. So I'll be back with one more. Stay tuned.